The other big story that we are following tonight, we've got a closer look at the newly released pictures in the Casey Anthony case. A Gatorade bottle that was found near Kaylee's body. Inside, there's a syringe with traces of chloroform. Detectives say they found chloroform in the trunk of Casey's car as well. Only on Fox tonight, reporter Holly Bristow and crime scene experts break all the evidence down for you. Holly? Well, on the discs, all of them pictures, a lot of evidence, potential evidence, including several shots of a Gatorade bottle and tests performed on it. So we took those to a crime scene expert. A clear Gatorade bottle found by crime scene investigators close to Kaylee Anthony's remains in the woods along Suburban Drive. But the liquid inside, clearly not Gatorade. Instead, a thick, milky substance. Also inside, a syringe filled with liquid and two cardboard paper towel rolls. The FBI took these photos and tested the liquid inside. Crime scene expert Shelley Schaefer has been following this case since it broke. We asked her what the tests mean. They were trying to do a pH test, how acidic or how alkaline it is. Schaefer says the dark change in color on the litmus paper investigators tested it with indicates the liquid found in the Gatorade bottle is somewhat acidic. Did they give any indication as to, oops, as to what kind of fluid is in there? The test that they did, no. Previously released, Discovery has showed levels of chloroform in the Gatorade bottle. Remember, investigators say there were unusually high levels of chloroform found in Casey Anthony's trunk. According to these tests and according to other scientific tests, the chloroform in the, in the Gatorade bottle would not be enough to, to kill someone. But Schaefer says still there's no smoking gun. Unless they fingerprint the bottle, found fingerprints, found someone's DNA on the syringe or on liquid that was inside, found out what that was actually. Um, this doesn't even tell us that the Gatorade bottle's tied into the case. Now we're still waiting for the state attorney's office to release the FBI's official test results on the Gatorade bottle and the syringe. Tonight we're also learning more about tests done on the trunk of Casey Anthony's car, as well as duct tape found on Kaylee's body. I'll share more on what we've learned coming up tonight at 6. Today we're getting our first look at potential new evidence in the murder case against Casey Anthony. The carpeting from the truck uh, trunk of her car was ripped out and photographs show investigators testing it to see what may be hidden in the fibers. Fox 35's Holly Bristow here live with the latest information. Holly? Well, Kale, today's discovery came in the form of these three DVDs. On them, hundreds of pictures of potential evidence, even some pictures of the process the FBI is going through to test Casey's car, Kaylee's car seat, and some duct tape to see if anything ties Casey to her daughter's murder. We've seen the outside of Casey Anthony's white Pontiac. Now we're seeing what investigators ripped out of the inside. Everything from her daughter Kaylee's car seat and baby doll to the carpet in the trunk. Just days after the two-year-old was reported missing, investigators said the trunk of Casey Anthony's car reeked of human decomposition. Just released pictures from tests done on the inside of Casey Anthony's trunk, specifically some stains. Crime scene expert Shelley Schaefer explains the blue and red lights seen in the photos. They were using an alternate a light source, which will pick up any, any body fluids that are left in the trunk of the car or on the child's car seat. It can detect uh, blood that has been cleaned up or dried, um, saliva, perspiration, basically any type of body fluid. Investigators snapped shots of several spots in the trunk, even a stain on little Kaylee's doll found in the car. Other pictures of interest, a knife with what appears to be duct tape residue on it, and video of duct tape the Anthony family used to post flyers around town. It's Henkel brand, the same brand of duct tape investigators say was found wrapped around little Kaylee's skull. Compare the two duct tape the strands with the tape and we'll see if we have a match. But it still doesn't tell us where the duct tape came from. Now, today's poten uh, potential evidence also includes images of a Gatorade bottle and a syringe found inside it. It was found not far from Kaylee Anthony's remains, and investigators did tests on these things to see if they are related to Kaylee's murder. Still no evidence either way. On these three discs, still no smoking gun. Mm.